All right, hello, hello everyone. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to this video. So some really cool stuff. I'm gonna start with music, you know, cause that's how I do it, music power. A really awesome shift in the energy, okay? So Steve Miller Band. Um, let's start with some Steve Miller Band, guys. Okay, um, Fly Like an Eagle, all right, Tick Tock. Uh, I'm all TikTok. <laughs> Time keeps on slipping. But then, um, Space Cowboy, Steve Miller Band. Um, oh my gosh, Serenade. That's the one. So really tuning into some, you know, out of this world stuff. Okay, um, a diff, a bunch of different like signs coming through energies. So I will throw out zodiac signs. I might just make this a general. Um, we are shifting into Sagittarius season. I just had a really amazing uh, Sagittarius, uh, a big reading. But so any of you Sagittariuses, um, look forward to your birthday season and happy birthdays if you're getting it during that time. Um, and you're, you're up next. I'll be doing um, your bonus birthday for the Novembers and then December's energy is coming through. But there's a beautiful shift. So there is also a lot of air sign, like all the air sign qualities, okay? Double Libras. Um, there was definitely, there was Taurus energy, Leo, Scorpio, um, Cancers, Pisces, Aquarius, yeah. Um, San Francisco got spotlighted for me today too, guys. Um, <laughs> and it's really interesting. So the band Jurassic 5 as well. And React is a really... Uh, so like I said, if those songs, if you've never heard them or anything like that, or you have, whatever. Maybe me speaking it out will pull it up for you. But if I have the time, I might put them in the description or something. Or, uh, But you know what I mean? Different songs, different music. And I got some brand new music for me, but it's old, right? <laughs> and um, we also have um, The Firm. And it has, uh, yeah, The Firm. And Radioactive Love, I think is the name. And then Satisfaction Guaranteed. All the King's Horses. Those were the three from The Firm that I listened to that were kind of, those are new. Um... And I was like, all right, this is this is pretty cool. And then Montrose, some old Montrose stuff, guys. <laughs> so the um this is some old classic rock stuff. Um space, it's space station number five, even. So there's this shift in um number five. We also got so Jurassic Five is what's golden. Um opening up again, being very open, like do you feel, so the first song really says, do you feel the, the shift? Do you feel the love in the air? Did you see the lights in the sky? Um, the, did you feel the shift in the energy? Like there's the love energy. So it's very, um, it's very uplifting, right? So I was really drawn into these magic, uh, the midnight magic mushrooms, a lot of mushrooms. I, and I will get the oracles and then fairy whispers and fairy blithe. So I'm also going to go to um, Lateralis. That's this my go-to, like, uh, for moving forward um, and expanding and growing and, you know, inventiveness. So Aries, Libra, Aquarius energy with that. Um, and then Numa. So this is Wake Up Child. And I saw the Fairy Blythe. And this was a new, so even this other song talks about something brand new. And so um, I've never really paid attention. I, I've always had a connection with fairies. So I decided to bring in the fairy tarot and the fairy whispers. Um, and there is a band called, um, just called Fairy Band, F-A-E-R-Y Band. And it really is, you know, um, a very, very beautiful music um, about the fairies in the fairy realm and Blythe. So then I saw these people, the dolls, they make, they redo the dolls, but this fairy I saw, okay, 
Tina, Lisa. Um, I there's something so, and Joe. Okay, I found out that Joe is a Scorpio, not a Taurus. Who would have thunk? <laughs> so Joe, what do you know? Um, who would have thunk? Anyways, so. I don't know why I'm telling you these things. So Mike is always, like Mike, there's Mike's all around, okay? There's Mike's all around. Um, now, whether this be multiple people named Michael or Mike, Mikey, Mike, Mike, multiple Michaels. But I also was seeing multiple mics, like, you know what I mean? Microphones, something about that. Um, Yeah, uh, I'm not going to talk about just the stuff, you know, and that has been revealed in the world. This scorpionic energy is definitely bringing forth things coming to light about certain people. Found out P. Diddy, Sean, was a Scorpio. Decided to look that up. So I was like, oh, imagine that. Uh, you know, and yeah. So the scorpionic stuff. Also, something new coming back around. So understand there was like, there is this... Even maybe there was retrograde or something, but so what was kind of specified with, um, even with Sagittarius energy was about communication and slowing things down or really double checking even about transportation, right? So there is this Gemini energy with that Gemini Sagittarius energy, right? But, um, and communication and writing things down and then some things being brought back forth to either be, you know, the communication about it or remembering remember and even something coming back that you thought was gone or lost so weirdest thing too uh you know someone i haven't i haven't really interacted with it seems like it's been a long time out of nowhere interacted with me again this morning um you know um so connections coming back in so you know what i mean we also have quality control, Jurassic Five. Um, the other great song is, um, gosh, if you only knew what we've been through and a day at the races. Okay, all right. So this, this is my tourmaladed quartz. Okay, I'm doing it different without my other lighting on, just to see because there was always being a glare. So I'm I'm trying something new with the lighting. We'll see if I like it or not. 747. So tourmaladed quartz. Remember, I so if you've been here for a while and maybe, you know, I told you about my bumblebee jasper being revealed. Even this new thing, even the, the chevron amethyst. But this is that tourmaladed quartz, or yeah, tourmaladed quartz that helps with cleansing any negative energies. You know, the block is doing that. And then the quartz magnifies that. We've got the selenite raising that vibration. Then the bubble be Jasper with joy. Um, happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> okay, my Yogi Tea. I got some new Yogi Tea too. I haven't tried his Blackberry Digestion one. But my favorite's like the positive energy one. And I love the little things. Inner peace creates peace in the world. So finding this inner peace uh, helps create the peace in the world, you know, the energy, because we're create, there's, there's energy of people's uproar, you know what I mean? And we, we can feel it. And when you can be at peace, you can try and, and people can try and emulate this. I'm going to throw this in the little bag. I got the tea leaves out here too. Okay, guys, Midnight Magic is the tarot. So that might get into the nitty gritty. We'll see where I go. Jane came up a lot too. Jane's addiction um, and Mountain Song. Um, Someone's name is Jane or something. Okay. Monterey Pine. Monterey Pine. Sorry, the shadow. Guys, this is this might be weird. And if it is, I apologize. I'll check it out afterwards and double check my... <laughs> the lighting and stuff. You know, maybe that's part of it. There's the little shadow energy. And that's what that retrograde could even be. And I don't... I mean, I just go with the flow of every day and see and I give the messages of the energy I feel and for whoever needs them right I feel I just you could trust you put it out there and if it's for you it's for you everyone's at different levels of growth right this is apple oh Monterey pine and apple so it looks like we're getting tree wisdom to start with for some reason so this apple is 
apples are so nutritious, right? And it's harvest season even for apples. But this can represent something you're holding your yourself back from even. Or, but this nutrition, what is the Monterey Pine? I'm going to see, I'm getting the book because I split it open in those. So we're going to start with that. I see steadfastness and, steadfastness and coast redwood, so growth. So staying strong, the oak and the redwood. Um, Monterey pine and apple. I'm going to read those. And then I, okay, apple right here. This is about generosity. Okay, and being generous and giving. Yeah, yeah. Um, six, seven. Bless others with a full and open heart. Not only when you feel affectionate toward them, but also when they annoy you. <laughs> Let your actions reveal your sense of generosity, whether it is material, spiritual, or emotional. I grow in orchards and gardens across the world. I bear delicious fruits and my spring blossom cheers you. Uh, on hot days, my leafy branches cool you if you sit beneath them. I share my bounty with you. Adam and Eve, right here, right here. <laughs> Talking about the Bible here, right? According to the Bible, they were banished from the Garden of Eden after eating a fruit from the tree of knowledge. So nowhere does it say it was an apple, right? But there's all assumptions. It was a tree of knowledge. And then they knew good and evil. And then they knew they felt shame of their nakedness. Um, although the original Hebrew did not mention, right, the fruit by name. Um, they are a vital source of food. Apples have several medicinal qualities, including reducing blood pressure and treating heart problems. So, you know what I mean? Eating food that is natural and stuff. Trying to get these organic. You know why they're so expensive? Because, dude, the bugs love them too, okay? So understand that. And if you do not get the others, just make sure you're rinsing them well, you know. Um, you can even get special fruit cleansing or take the pill off i'm just you know what i mean so you don't get any of those weird chemical stuff i don't know why i'm sharing that with you <laughs> maybe it's a it's a time of making your own apple cider vinegar but this is talking about being generous and giving even of your bounty monterey pine on the other side on the other side so the weird thing i gotta stop for a second because i'm reminded so with the mushrooms here when we get into that, um, I totally got, wow, cool. Look at the crickets are right there. The beautiful fungi. Um, anyways, but I got, you know, the Alice in Wonderland, like caterpillar that turns into the butterfly talking to Alice, right? And say one side of the mushroom will make you bigger and one side will make you smaller. Um, and if we think about this um, in dynamics of self and others, or even Virgo Pisces energy, seeing a higher perspective, a bigger thing so like it's a small world after all it's a small world after all. <laughs> oh boy there was even something about like uh the wiggles you know the and that san francisco trolley thing sarah richards and so i was thinking what might happen with this when i do and bring this in is one may one side of it may help to see a higher perspective or make you feel stronger, give you more confidence in yourself, while the other one might help you to see the nitty gritty and the little details of all of, you know, down to the microscop microscopic level of understanding, or it could make you feel very small and cut you down. So we'll see when we get there. This is just what I'm saying. Oh, this one popped over, Beboa, but it's in reverse. This is the tree of life. Oh, that reminds me. I saw the craziest thing about like the, you know, the Mandela effect thing with the Berenstain, Berenstain bears. There was this video, dude, and he walked, he put up like this tree of life and this other picture. And when he walked through the bedroom, the the writing actually changed. I'm like, did he, how do you freaking do this? It's like a magician, a magician, an illusion, or is it a portal in his freaking apartment? I don't know. I am talking a lot. So there's some Gemini <laughs> The Bay of Bow is in reverse, so I want to see what this is as well. All right. Hold, I'm supposed, I need to slow it down. Slow down the communication. Okay, there we go. It's like I want to keep these short, and there's so much information. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean. 
so I always think I want to keep him short, but it's always going to be like an hour or something. And Ash, hey, what's up, Ashley? Scott. Oh, I did see Scott too. And welcome to Bitchfield. <laughs> this is about construction and mastery. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but. Okay, this is about finding purpose. Monterey Pine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome home. Naroshi, day in and day out. Monterey Pine. I have it over here by the fairy tarot. So I'm cutting it with this. I'm going to cut those over there. Maybe cut it in. Cut it off. Cut it on. Turn on the power. Something like that. Finding some purpose. I grow tall and straight as I stretch ever upward toward the sky. My timber is used around the world. So I'm planted more widely than any of my pine cousins. I signify strength, the purpose. Gosh, oh my goodness, my, my voice is changing. That's weird. It's Okay, I can help you to find your own purpose in life. Let yourself be guided by your inner sense of purpose. Know what you have to do and then focus on it. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by superficial tasks or diversions that waste your time and effort. Yeah, so even dealing with children or... Um, there's Gemini, Leo, or Scorpio with this energy, possibly. Mm. And then the apple over here about being generous and kind and giving. Um, and maybe even been seen as an angel. I've seen and met angels wearing the disguise of ordinary people living ordinary lives. So that song, did I bring up Mad World by Gary Jules? Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's the song popping in again. Jewels. Huh. The jewels. I said that there. Okay, now we're going to get the Bayaboa. It is in reverse. I want to see why. I know this is that tree of life seeing the other side. This is about survival even. Okay. There is no need to feel lost and alone. Or to believe that every day is a battle for, for, for survival. Don't make life harder for yourself by dwelling on things that are negative or which depress you. Stay focused and optimistic. Oh my gosh. I had the weirdest thing last night. With, I'm just going to say this is how like, a, the conversation was like, well, I'm being hopeful or optimistic. And I'm like, well... I'm being realistic. You be optimistic, I'll be realistic. How that? <laughs> uh, you know, we got to be realistic. But optimistic, I think it's good to have both. Okay, maybe that's all for the trees right now. I am going to set these. There is two more over here. The giant redwood and the hornbeam. This is once again about having that strength. And every day, there, there shouldn't be any force... The sense of needing to uh, survive, like survival of the fittest type thing or something. It is There's generosity, humanitarianism, you know, giant redwoods. This is sequoia and this, this hornbeam. This is so much about the strength, the saltiness even, the hematite, maybe even the dragon eggs. The dragons might be spotlighted too. Why is the redwood? I see the deer here. I'm, I am going to see why it's upside down. It's kind of looking sideways over here. And then we will continue. What are we at on time? 1850. Back in 1850. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I can't help it. I see it. I say it. <laughs> okay. Where is this? I know it's in strength, but let's see. So the hornbeam is upright, okay? 41. This is a good time for you to work on new ideas, especially ones relating to personal projects and to cultivate your creative talents. These will lead to fresh opportunities and your renewed enthusiasm will rekindle your passion for life. Okay, for some of you, maybe you did doll stuff. This is even like called like rebirthing the doll, like repurposing, um, saving them. And, you know, there's something about that the dolls <laughs> that were spotlighted um hmm. 
very interesting okay and and as i was saying it's it's time for some new so please listen to lateralis because it really speaks about that and i'm i'm trying to keep that into mind even as i'm doing this i'm trying not to overthink it right and trust my intuition as i'm guided as i flow and let it flow um instead of being over analytical over critical say what i see and then i am gonna get the information of the book and it's always beautiful synchronicities huh? okay let's see i want to see the giant redwood I, someone's name was willow even harmony as well 36 being spotlight again maybe a gemini virgo or sagittarius um maybe a cousin sibling or someone you went to college with or you know um elementary school even well i went to school yeah oh yeah courtney i almost forgot courtney courtney loves song playing your song and pedals hey you i see the celtics here the harps there was harps in another song what is this other harps oh I'm like, what was the hearing the harps? Weird. Okay. I'm going to the giant redwood. I need to see why it's in reverse. This is even dealing with a cancer sign, a mother, or um, could be Libra, Gemini, uh, Aries, even possibly. This is about majesty. One area of your life is becoming such a dominant force that it is starting to crowd out everything else. This might be a temporary situation or it may be more permanent, but either way, it is leading to a lack of balance that must be readdressed. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's about some new creativity. This is about all, all work and no play. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Old oh boy, what is underneath here? Ash, no way. So the ash tree and the apple. I brought up the ash tree, guys. So maybe it's the ash tray. I don't know. Is it the ash? <laughs> Ashley. I know a couple Ashleys. Cancer sign. Libra. Something like this. Maybe come back around. What? I'm like, why can't I find it? It's like they can't find. Maybe they can't find it. Okay, here we go. And then, like I said, Scott's was there too, right? <laughs> 44. No way. Lovely. 44 more. Logic. Gain mastery over yourself by accepting who you are and fearlessly looking at all aspects of your personality Strive to be objective and rational rather than just being swept along by subjective emotions. Right. Okay. My wood has many uses because it is strong yet flexible. For centuries, humans have associated me with magical powers to repel evil and to heal children. I exude a sugary sap so I can help to make your life sweeter. Ireland, Greece... Wales, England, tea is supposed to help keep the devils away. Ash was burnt in fires to keep the devil away. Tea made from dried ash leaves are diuretic and a laxative property. Okay, and it, okay, let's, let here we go. Let's get into the mushrooms now. That's really interesting. I find that fascinating. I am going to move it over here. I know you guys can't really see this part. Maybe I'll, whoa. I'm like, whoa, now the sun's shining in there. Let's get a few tea leaves. I'm gonna throw some tea leaves out first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just grabbing a couple stacks. I have mixed in the astral houses and even the dates or the year, or was it the years? No, the uh, months, I think they're in. So I'm just going to shuffle it around and see. We got a oh, dark woman. Okay, so it's dealings or relationship with a woman who has a dark complexion or hair. Maybe feeling like they need, oh, needing to pay attention to their health. Cane, sugar, whatever. 
Cain. Maybe even their name is Cain. Um, a bully. Okay, there could be some Taurus energy. This is about do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Even regarding like your health, your day-to-day -day life. She looks a little pissed off. What is this? Sugar cane. Maybe it's Abby. Abigail. Allison. <laughs> cane. Um, there's some Taurus energy though, but it's like standing up. They feel oh oh, they could even they could have some health issues. They or them, you or whatever, but make sure they're not affecting your life by giving you too much, you know what I mean? Whatever. Um, this is feeling like there's a need to be in survival mode. Like, um, her, she's looking mad at the fairy energy. Um, I, I'm not quite sure. It's someone who is being generous and giving. I mean, she's looking to this as someone in the spotlight or like their ego. Um, I don't, hmm, I don't like this one. Yeah, pay attention to your finances. Whoa, so this might, they're seeing their money, like they're seeing, you know, all this generosity and all this giving. Hmm. Opportunities are waiting through you, through this new door. So I'm also seeing this as it's important to pay attention because, you know, it it's a time where we might be spending more and maybe you're going to need to save money to invest in some new opportunity that might be coming up. The way she's looking at this purse and the way she's looking over here, maybe even to the past or something like that. Uh, so whatever's going on with your tent, your your health through this door, advice, even seeking out information that will help you do not back down. Advice from a friend. Success assured with a good plan and hard work, right? Even... Someone telling you, hey, giving you advice about your money and saving your money on certain things, right? Or something. Uh, someone giving financial advice. Whoa. To a younger woman, possibly. Or this information, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. There might be a... There's definitely Scorpio or Taurus energy could be Virgo or Libra too. Um, a fire sign even. Okay, okay. Leo. Uh, Aries Sagittarius. Hmm. Strong emotion. It could be passionate hate or love. Whoa, this younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. So they could be younger. Sagittarius, fire sign. Leo. Um... Aries, you need to defend yourself. These younger people. Mm. There is deep personal strength that assures success. Okay, that's what I'm doing with that. I got nine cards here, right? 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. Let's find out more with the with uh the midnight magic mushrooms these are really cool look at so this is sarah richard um these are new too and they're a little they're a little different to a sword so trying to make a decision feeling stuck between um your emotion even and your logical thinking <laughs> Being pulled in two directions, like you need to do something. The logical song, the logic. Oh, the Decemberist came through. Um, little boxes, little boxes. 16 military wives. Mm. That's uh, the Decemberist, the band. That is a song, okay? Okay, so for whomever it is that is watching tuning in tuning in um let's see what else do we have about this this dark woman okay and if this is whom you are okay whether you have a darker complexion or darker hair it's just having you know what i mean darker features um pay attention to your 
to maybe even a Taurus is telling you to do these things or just a friend, okay? And being stubborn even about your own health, right? It's your it's your life. It's your, so we got like even Kenny Loggins and I'm all right. No, but I don't know. But watch the two of pentacles. So two, two. This is about money. <laughs> okay, this is about someone paying attention to their money, not over... What, why is there such strong emotion regarding the finances? Like, so there's a lot of fire energy. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, there's juggling of finances, maybe even. That's what I'm seeing, like filling in survival mode with paying Peter, you know, to taking from Paul to pay Peter, something, something. The hangman, okay, someone gets stuck caught so virgo <laughs> watch your health pay attention to your health even this virgo energy this is so if there's some health issues right or something like this this is stopping to tune into your body even and really see what's going on i see 212 so yeah a lot of aquarius was coming through too virgo aquarius the world, no way. See, the, the world's in reverse. The things are not over. This is not completed. Um, This completion, no way. You got honey, no way. Johnny Utah and honey pie. <laughs> Maybe you're drinking honey. Maybe use honey. Maybe you're using a smaller bit of honey. Learning about this. The world. Let me see. 1221 even maybe the shift into uh capricorn that's still end of sagittarius season someone gets stopped here right because things are not over so that's the other thing like asking why and certain things like why why can't we let go of certain things emotions feelings or something like this and there's because it's there's like a sense of um unfinished business Mm hmm needing to defend yourself with this younger woman a Virgo possibly um the velvet shank these are so interesting these cards are so cool the artwork is very interesting the honey mushroom Hey, honey. <laughs> who is honey? I know who honey is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> honey McBunny? Defend yourself. Hmm. Interesting. All right. What else? What about these opportunities and success assured? So even tuning into your body and, and regarding even for survival, nutrients, Food, water, nourishment, um, dealing with a younger man too, or it could be a younger man, but success is assured walking through these with this younger man, okay? That I mean, or if you are a younger man. Hmm. What else? Whoa. Strength. So yeah, it could possibly be Leo because there's the fire energy there is specifically, but having the strength, gaining strength. Oh wow, the Chaga. The eight. No way, eight, eight. Might be specifics. Gaining this strength even, even though there is no communication. Whoa, whoa, the sun. Whoa, Leo, Leo, Leo. So spotlighted, the sun coming up. The lovers, Gemini energy too. And two of wands, the bleeding tooth. Woohoo, Caesar's mushroom. Okay, okay, there was another thing. When I opened these other mushrooms, spirit oracles, I did see the name Lucas came through a couple times, Luke Lucas. Um, And I saw a verde verdigras i saw this blue one so i'm really interested to to remember what the blue one is is about um wow it was really weird because there was this sense of 
maybe even dealing with a cancer sign for some of you. I mean, or this um, sense of even though there is not communication, see, Eight of Wands in reverse tells me that there's not action being taken right now. So it's gaining strength, golden oyster mushrooms. These oyster mushrooms are very nutritious. Um, helping with so maybe even introducing some certain mushroom medicine into your diet it it find out the information about it right we're in the age of the age of aquarius <laughs> oh great but i would you know the aquarius energy on the online stuff the finding so much information and you can find good and bad right look at all of it make your own decision look at the facts look at the research you know what I mean? Ask. Ask people. But be be wise. Don't jump into it. That's why, especially if you are taking any other, you know, medicines from the doctors and stuff like that. Or you. There's always about making sure that things do not counteract and create harm. Right? So... Even so, chaga is really nutritional too. Interesting enough, a golden egg, maybe even finding some of this. Okay, and we've got this eight of wands. So, even though someone is not even communicating about it, the red coral. Wow. It's like be stubborn and just start looking it up and do what you need to do. And maybe even blocking this communication or um, defending yourself, especially this younger woman or regarding a younger woman. The vines do not back down from opposition regarding your own health. Well, we're going with the sixes a lot. Wow. So three more that came out was the sun, right? Someone juggling money, even juggling what to do. Maybe you're getting clarification. You're getting the sun is shining on on these financial decisions or that there's been juggling because there was two of swords someone stuck in two minds um the lovers so and strength two of wands so a lot of this indecision and feeling kind of stuck there's just two there's two mushrooms with the lovers but this is stagnation and not taking the action because maybe you've blocked them or the communication is blocked. Um, it's like someone's looked, they've taken a little bit of action, but they're at a crossroads because other, maybe you're, you're receiving a lot of pushback. Mm. This one is sticking out. So I'm going to get a seventh card page of swords in reverse oh yeah someone not communicating they just look in and stock and spying deadly Ooh, gallerina this is but th what there's there's gossip this is slander maybe you're seeing bad stuff about it people not you know put it saying that these things are bad or you know what i mean the, there's opposition but I feel like they're just they're, because it's page of swords and there's no communication there's someone needs to have strength again you know trying something new wow king of wands oh wow well, there's the fire energy alright um Definitely, uh, I mean, there's so much Leo all over this reading, okay, guys, of all of the signs, okay? And some Taurus, uh, Virgo, Gemini, Five of Swords in reverse. So this is good. Someone taking that leadership, right? Being the king, all the king's horses and all the king's men. No longer feeling stuck in their head, coming out of... Because the communication, so it needs to be written down or something. There is something here, for sure. Paying attention to your your health, even like there's care and there's love. Um, someone was stuck in their head, 
about this and maybe this has helped right there's this is a sense of patience right because we've got this dune cup seven of pentacles so someone there is a pause with this it's like standing and firm like the bowl like you know what i mean this is about where you're investing your time where you're going to invest even your money where you're putting your your work into stagnation will of fortune in reverse right okay so feeling like right now there's a down cycle there's this could even feel like someone is uh you know at a loss um they're not having good karma and maybe that's why they're not communicating they're not talking they're in a stagnation they're stuck you won't you're them right the hanged man i tell you i mean maybe it's a virgo a virgo's going through some karma guys <laughs> Or whatever they're getting stopped so they have to get this enlightenment to figure it out do some inner work and shit yeah so that they can move forward aquatic grilled mushrooms guild i'm all grilled mushroom mm. maybe it is an aquarius even but this is moving forward out getting out of being stuck in your head and seeing where to invest and there's patience with it so that you don't have to do all of like the work all by yourself. Because that's a heavy, laying down the heavy burden of doing all of this. Yeah, at this job, like trying to even have a new business going or something, receiving a gift, an offer. No longer fighting or competing, even if maybe it was someone that you've fought with before. And there's like a peace offering or something. A, a knight of swords there could have been some really cursed out cussing words oh about a party about not a reunion or a get together um not wanting it's like you're not not invited to this reunion or party you know a celebration with other people because someone's cussed someone out you know like they've said some really cutting things um and it might be, so we've got Sagittarius energy here, but shiitake, trying to stay balanced even. And it's like cutting out the things that are, I'm seeing the cardinal energy with it too. So even the Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, um, and really is trying to have moderation with the Queen of Swords. Like, I, I, she's this is upright, the Lion's Mane. So there could be definitely some fire energy. Um queen of swords so temperate so uh libra gemini aquarius right um and sagittarius really trying to stay balanced with their communication speak tactfully um honestly not sugarcoat shit get to the point of it the world so that can be the completion the communication is required about a new chapter right about a completion of a an old cycle um, and now it's a new fresh cycle of something new in the world. It's even um, it's Devil's Cigar. Whoa. The Five of Pentacles. There could have, someone felt very left out, pushed out in the cold, even maybe a loss of money, um, even a, a, a loss of financial stability pushed them out into a world to have to be forced to do these things. You know what I mean? To have this new beginning. Yeah, and having to kind of run around all over the place. Seeking for hope. Seeking for guidance. Looking at the stars. Uh, this is someone who feels like there's no hope, though. They've lost hope. The coffee. The copper. They don't have a job, even. So some of you, that's what it is. And it, whether it's an Aquarius or a fire sign energy, I'm just seeing as they don't they feel like they've lost hope in finding like stability like a good job even they lost their passion like they don't have the the strength and they're not telling you about a fairy ring the high priestess see i brought up the fairies and i'm this is beautiful there's libra energy with it there is also taurus gemini but this is keeping certain things um Wow, so I'm seeing us is going into the fairies now, right? Someone does not feel like 
they're victorious. Like they've, the reds, the reds. Hierophant and high, and high priestess are upright though. Standing strong, giving good guidance. Um, not, not, I, when I see this as keeping certain things to yourself, it's like not sharing everyone's personal things, sharing what's necessary for that moment, for that time, you know, to each individual person, um, the guidance, you know what I mean? I, I do like that. Holding things back that, I mean, keeping things a little mysterious even. Okay, wow, that was pretty crazy, guys. What are we at on time 45? I'm going to take you down here so you can see. Hopefully you see if you can see these as we jump into these mushroom spirits here. Um, underneath there, wow. So we have this rosy bonnet and getting defined. This is needing to pay attention to the little teeny details even, okay? Because something could be, looks could be deceiving with something. And with the pink, the pink hair, you know, we're dealing with a Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, or a child. Um, see the child, like the fairy doll, even. Mm. All right. What is these spirits of the mushrooms have? Whoa, it flew over here by the angel energy. Okay, guys, and being generous and giving the red cage. And here, uh, here is the red cage. It talks about, so Aquarius got this one, two, six, maybe even. Maybe you consider an Aquarius very kind, generous, giving. This fairy whisper is coming through. Between the worlds. We work in the in-between times at dawn and dusk, under the stars, at midsummer and midwinter. Weaving flower and frost into magic, join us there, and you will feel fairy wisdom light up within you. So this is also, the way this red cage captures, um, it, it there's openness there, so nothing feels like it's trapped. And it, the sweetness is what draws them in. 26, 19, wow, so death cap. This is transformation. This is ending. So this is a toxic thing, right? And fertility. Okay, there's lots of Scorpio. <laughs> this is about fertility as well. Okay, bamboo mushroom. Something ending even. Oh my regarding fertility um one two three I, I mean you got one two three one nine capricorn so someone needing to have strength even so dealing with um a scorpio a capricorn or new beginning um a death looking de death at the face okay chaga pay attention to your health 819. Someone needs to have strength overcoming this. There, there literally could have been a death, an ending. Dude, in Australia, there's a woman that's on trial even for putting death cap in her beef wellington. And Leo's, Leo's, I don't know what's up with that, guys. Because I brought that up in yours. So uh, uh, that might specifically, or people dealing with Leo, okay? Something like that. And then we got the fertility thing. Someone's not communicating about, um, what does it look like, huh? Yeah, you know. About their fertility, about having babies, some issues with their reproductive stuff, stagnation. Bamboo grows really fast and really quickly. 2, 4, 24. Someone's not talking about... This communication is about sexual shit. Okay, guys? That n That isn't being communicated about. Birth, death, sex. Aquarius, even looking at stuff online, even. Um, attracting these things into your life. Even, you know, your health. When you get a scare, 
like this this transforms your life when you you get this close call no way no way guys and then the common puffball there's so much about some sexual stuff this is even what they're talking about letting it go let go of this stuff this this drama this gossip this slander about sexual stuff um maybe someone saying someone is mm, you know look at i mean guys this is my brain cannot not see that what what <laughs> guys it's like 15 minutes in um dude dude how did these two come out together like that but this was like looking at someone's spine. And this could have something to do with Virgo or someone got caught or the sun. Leo. <gasps> oh, Aquarius energy, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let it go. Let it go expanded awareness this is even the magic mushrooms right amanata 13 man even dealing with gemini aries or a cancer sign um let's see what do i see here i'm looking at the numbers guys 824 virgos um 86 Six sixteen, eight sixteen, eight seven, expanded awareness. Even this is the magic mushroom. The reds, even the king. I don't know what the reds. The sun, the king of wands, right there. Getting this expanded awareness, getting clarity. The sun shining. No way. And wrinkled peach. I did see wrinkled peach today too. This is about being very unique. Seven twenty three. Oh my gosh, that was kind of scary, guys. Here comes the beeping. I might have to finish this, guys. Holy cow, holy cow. So uh, just to mention, any of you that were wanting to hear more about the fairy tarot and stuff, uh, um, look forward to that. I'll do a second video. Um, just spotlighted on that. This is a unique thing. You're unique. Uh, 823. So there's Virgo for sure here with this, even with the lover's energy. For some of you, you know what I mean? Something ended with someone else, maybe. 2, 3, 16, and 23. Maybe someone was 16, the other person 23. I don't know. We got a 19 year old and a 26 year old. We got 19. Well, these are young people. These are young people. These are the young ones right here. You got this older woman trying to capture with her sweetness some sunshine, some, some fire sign energy. Maybe it's a feminine fire. I mean, well, we got king, but whatever. There's Aquarius energy with that too and trying to capture something with that sweetness and being generous and giving. These are upright for the. I mean, these are good. There is just this no way and the regeneration the oyster 926 89 the rosy bonnet getting really defined because someone is not being their authentic self do you know and the lion's mane coming up and staying calm during this and patient there's a slowdown yes and this is the one verdegas agaric impressive being impressed seeing something 531 um 32, 3, 2, let's see, 5, 3. Oh, yes, Taurus. I saw 5, 3 twice uh, today, too. At 331, this is some Pisces or uh, Aries. Is that even, <laughs> I'm like, is that even a date? Oh, my gosh. And the shiitake, nourishing. This communication, even. This is so cool. So this is the one I saw today, like a a real picture um and it was lucas's mushrooms who spotlighted it so very very beautiful um wow this is uh gotten kind of deep <laughs> i didn't read out the book with the others but it's gotten long too so um wow 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 oh um, like i said if you i'm gonna jump into the fairies and more of the tree wisdom and maybe even some more mushrooms in an upcoming video soon thank you so much Bye bye